Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. It's been a while since I've updated, but, uh, you know, I, I decided to do something special for spring break. And should things go the way I planned them to, I'll have another special update tonight. Uh, I was going to do Rocket later, but I have this other video planned, so uh, that'll be on hold until tomorrow, probably. So, uh, what are we doing now? We finished the Ice Cavern last time, and, uh, have some mild overworld exploration to do before we go into the next town. Let's do this first, this gate. This is completely optional, and there's really not that many benefits to going over here, but might as well show them anyway. Uh, now, I apologize if you hear any background noise. It is St. Patrick's Day, and uh, all these out-of-towners have come in because there's a parade going on, and they're all having parties, so they're very loud. Uh, but that's city life, I guess. You get all the suburbanites coming in for stuff. Anyway, uh, we can talk to the guard here. We want to pass through. He's not going to let us. We need a gate pass. For now. We might, that might change in the future. How about we take a break? If we wait here, if we choose to wait, a shop girl will come along, which she doesn't sell anything really interesting, but she'll let us rest without using a tent, which is nice. Ah, this is the border to Lindblom and Alexandria. Very interesting, and they keep watch over the airships. We have. In fact, we almost got away in one until we got shot down by Queen Chubbs. Oh, here we go. Uh, it is Mary. She works at Vega. And uh, let's choose I want to rest. She doesn't really sell anything worth buying right now because we're going to another town anyway, so... She'll make us pay a thousand gil to rest on the dirt that's not even under her... Well, whatever. <laughs> we, we rest it up. That's all I wanted to do. Now, the next thing I want to do is show off a new enemy and a very special battle. So, I'm guessing the monster that I'm talking about will show up first, the new monster, and then the special battle afterwards. Uh... By the way, if you missed your chance, oh, if, if you forgot to go in there and get that Moogle in the Ice Cavern, you can go back in now and get talked to him, but an event will happen in the game, and something like this, big uh, root, will be blocking off both entrances to the Ice Cavern, so if you're trying to do Magnet, make sure you get it before it's too late. Nope, that wasn't it, it was just a bunch of snakes. Uh, you will see snakes in this other enemy, most of the other types aren't up here. Hopefully this will be the new monster, though. Uh, let's see. Ah, there we go. A carved spider. And it's only, it's by itself. Sometimes it'll show up with snakes, and sometimes it'll show up with another spider. You can take this out very quickly if you have, uh, Bug Killer on. Uh, which Steiner will do right now. It does cast fire magic, and it can use a web attack, which can put slow on one of your party members, which sucks. Especially since there's nothing we can do about that at this point in the game, although it's one of those status effects that goes away after a battle's over. And let's go into this forest and hope we can get the special battle initiated. Nope, that wasn't it. Uh, now, these certain monsters can only be found in uh, very specific areas on the map. And uh, if I don't get it this time, I'll just cut to where I get the battle, so... Oh, never mind. We got him. This special music will play when two type, one of two types, or the two different types of monsters will appear. And this is a friendly monster type. We do not want to kill this thing. It will start a very long side quest, and he wants some ore. So we'll just select it from our items and target him and give it to him. If we kill him, I'm pretty sure the quest is over, so don't, uh, don't kill him. And he'll tell us to see Mr. Ghost, who's another one of these friendly monster types, but we won't see him for a while. And we get a bunch of AP. And Steiner learned level up, which is very nice. And we didn't get any items. Sometimes they'll give you an item, which will be required for the next one, but since ore is so common, I guess they decided not to give me it. Anyway, let's go over here now. Some weird crop circles over here. I wonder if they'll have any importance. 
and this will start a second long side quest. And it's not like it's very involved, it's just there, uh, you won't find all the things you need for this until later. So, it's good to start it now anyway. This will be another one that I think gets blocked off later, so you do want to do it within the time you're allotted. And that is a model you can see floating up there of the uh, Prima Vista. It's very nice looking. More it is this old man that loves coffee, and he wants to try all the unique coffee in the world. And uh, he wants, let's see. Oh, he said, let's see. Also, he wants Berman, Kerman, and Mocha coffee. Yum. I actually don't drink coffee. I can't. I don't like it. And uh, he'll give us that model if we find them all. So let's find them. Although we won't find any of them for quite a bit. Uh, let's see. We got a high potion here, though. Uh, there are a couple of things here we can take. Should be some gill on the back. 135. Alright, I am going to go get all the AP I need before, so I can switch Zidane's weapon. So I will see you guys outside of the town when I am done. Alright, I maxed out the AP I needed to learn Detect on the Mage Masher. So now I have Zidane equipped with the Mithril Dagger so we can learn Bandit which will incre increase his success when stealing, which is very nice. Aww. Vivi wants to go see the windmill, which really looks kind of weird. It looks like it has sails on it and not... It just doesn't look like a windmill. Looks like it should be sailing the seven seas. But I guess we have to go to the inn. And we can learn the name of this town, too. The Village of Dali. I guess that's how it's, it's pronounced, so that's how I will say it. I don't think I mentioned this. If I, or Maybe if I, I did, I don't mean to repeat myself, but uh, if you stand outside, you can see airships flying by. It's, you know, not important. It's just kind of cool that they added that in there. It seems the innkeeper is asleep on the job. Again. Oh, Hal. Actually, I don't know why I'm saying again. It's the first time ever. Uh, I wasn't looking at the young lady. I was staring at Steiner. Oh, oh wait. No, 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 no. Hmm. Oh, check it out. There's a Moogle over there. We'll all be staying in the same room in the same bed. All four of them. Yeah. They're gonna have to rough it. I don't think Steiner's too happy about it, though, but... When was the last time Steiner was happy about anything? Well, I guess he liked that food back in the kingdom. He's eating like a chipmunk. Yeah, tell us a bedtime story, Garnet. Gone to Lindblom. Ah. Whoa. I don't know why Steiner's so shocked. I mean, if she was running away from the castle, odds are she wasn't going to stay in the town. So now it looks like it's our job to cross to the south gate. Alright. There's a reason, but I can't tell you. Well,. Yeah, we understand. I mean, you could be going over there to assassinate the ruler of some other kingdom, but no, we'll help you anyway. Hey, Thief is a respectable job, and a very good career choice in Final Fantasy games. How did he screw up? He saved us all. Sort of. I mean, it's not his fault we crashed there. Oh yeah, he did such a good job of protecting her back in the ice cavern, especially when I had to fight that boss all by myself. You were really, really helpful back then, Steiner. Look, like you bored Vivi to sleep. Or maybe it's this beautiful music. 
This will just put you to sleep in a good way. It's that peaceful. Typical Steiner. Yeah, let's go to sleep. And while these characters sleep, I can cut the video. So see you guys next time for more Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Later guys, thanks for watching.